So on this example, now what we're simply doing is if you guys look at this one, there's another relationship that we talked about in this class, last class period. Something I presented to you, Malik, to have you guys write down. Here, we're talking about two secant lines, right? We're talking about from a point that produces two secant lines. So last class period, what we talked about is the relationship of their lengths is PV times PY is equal to PR times PA, meaning the length, the distance from my point to the circle times the whole length of the secant line is equal to the other length to the circle times the whole secant line. So now I just plug in that information that I have. P to V is 2 times P to Y is going to be 2 plus 16, right? If here is 2 and here is 16, 2 plus 16 is 18 equals to PR, which is our variable x, which we're not provided, or not provided the value of, and then P to A, which would be x plus A, or x plus 9. Correct? Now I have to apply distributive property. So I get 36 equals x squared plus 9x. Now I know it gets a little bit difficult here, guys, um, because now what we're doing is we are doing a, a math problem where we have two x's. One is squared, one is linear. You can't use your inverse operations from here because we have two variables that are not the same term. So what we have to do is we have to go to factoring. And to go to factoring, I'm going to set my equation equal to 0. I set it equal to 0 so I can use the 0 product property. Now, I'm not going to go back and review factoring. That's something that's supposed to be in algebra 1. You'll get into it more in algebra 2. Um, but I'll just kind of go through it. Again, to factor this, what we need to do is break this up into two factors that we can multiply to give this to the, get us to this expression. So to do that, I want to see what two numbers multiply to give me negative 36, but then add to give me 9. And our answers are going to be nine, um, sorry, 12 and negative 3. Does 12 times negative 3 give me negative 36? Yes. Does 12 plus negative 3 give me positive 9? Yes. So therefore, I'll write my answer like this. Okay, And then, since I set it equal to 0, if you have two numbers that are multiplied to give you 0, one of those numbers has to be 0. So therefore, I'll set both equations equal to 0. So therefore, x equals negative 12, x equals 3. Since my length cannot be negative 12, x is going to equal 3. Okay. 